said the key's right there. All right. Good morning. Welcome back to yet another episode of a day in the life of a tow truck operator. I believe we're on episode three now. We're here at my buddy Sergey's shop, picking up a racing simulator. Hey. How are you? Hey, you? Sergey? Oh, Sergey. You were here, probably looks way better. Yeah, you did awesome. Yeah, I just texted you. I don't know if you got it. How you been? Good, good, good. Should be able to just back up to this nice and easy. Pick it up. That F1 car is actually what that came off of. The F1 car was mounted to that, and we transported that from Canada over here. And now he took the F1 car off of the platform. Can I use that four by four? Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it, of course. This isn't your typical car. We're just going to change this one down. Well, it's certainly not something you tow every day. Alright, I'll throw a strap on it. Call it a day. Grab us a D-ring. I don't even know if this is usable considering it's been sitting outside, but... Put our strap through. Okay, there she is. Okay, starting off the day with a 37 minute drive to drop off this interesting race simulator. This is my first time transporting it without the car on top of it. If anything, it should be easier. I don't mind working in the snow, but the rain I really, I really dislike. I gotta be honest. And they said that we were gonna have four to six inches of snow today. Don't look like snow to me. I'm willing to bet that's probably the the frame he's gonna throw on that. Oh wow, no, he's got a whole bunch of frames. Look at that. Everywhere. What's up, boss? How's it going, man? Good, how are uh, you? Uh, I'll open this door and put it there. We'll just let it down inside. Okay. Thank you. This should be an easy load and unload. Drop this down. Oh, 
What are you going to use it for? I'm going to make a simulator out of it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm just going to add what it's missing. We transported it for him when it had the car on it. Yeah. Yeah, I That's know. What he told me. I was like, I don't know who to get this uh, to get it moved. And he recommended you guys. So. We actually. Made everything online. Is there anything I'm going to sign or anything? Or? Um, I'll double check for you. Maybe a signature because you paid online. Okay. I'm just signing that box. Okay. My that signature's works. not much. Hopefully you don't get any. Right. And I appreciate your help today of, too. of course, thank you. All good? Should yeah, be good? Yep, you're all paid. Perfect. Thank you. I'm going to put these to dry because they're soaked. Put that on warm. Holy moly. Goodness gracious. Okay, we've got our next call, which is a GMC Acadia. So we shall get ourselves rolling that way. So the GMC terrain canceled, but that worked out in my favor because I had a Ford Focus that we can pick up that was along the way back to the yard. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Focus and deliver this one next. There's the Focus right here. Go ahead and back up to it. Simulator left some mud on the bed. God, I hate the rain. So I guess this house is... Okay. They said the key's right there. All right. I don't ask questions. Get the key up in there. We should be able to shift this into neutral. There we go. All right. We are neutralized. Not quite sure what the story is with this car, but also not quite sure I care to know. Oh. Perfect. There she is. Turn this wheel just a little bit. Grab our chains. This one's not going too far. Only about five miles. Snag that rear control arm. Guy is trying to waste no time out here. Let's do a 19 point turn out of here. There we go. Focus down, that was quick. 15 minutes to drop off. The destination is on our right. Let's give them a call. Is this one yours? I guess they're gonna park it. It's theirs, but they're gonna park it here. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. They want it parked right here. Oh, there's the old lady. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Okay. So we're leaving it right there for you? In the yard. Perfect, okay. Pay now or afterwards? Don't make a difference. Okay, sounds good. I'll go ahead and drop that there and then I'll bring you the keys, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Oh, I didn't even notice this damage here. Easy peasy. You know, the worst thing is when you're, you got your glove right here, look at that, you see how wet that is? 
the water when you tilt the bed just yep finishes your glove down she goes let's get it unhooked we'll unhook this side we'll give it a push back a little bit okay we're not giving it a push back Should have both sides unhooked. Now we can go get squared away with her. Give her her keys. Here are your keys. Uh -huh. One here to pay. Perfect. There you are. All right. You are all set. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Well, that was easy. Good old 17 point turn. One hundred and sixty two bones. Well, that'll last about a day. Look, I got these neat little things for my boots. Kidding, I have to go indoors. All right, full tank gets me almost 900 kilometers. How about that? We are currently en route to a Chrysler Pacifica. We can see what's going on. Chrysler, oh, there it is. Let's call the customer and see what's going on with it. Please leave your message for two. I guess we'll go walk around, take some pictures of it. See if anyone notices us and pops out. Sit here for a couple minutes, give her another call. Good afternoon, this is your tow truck driver for the Chrysler Pacifica. Yes. Hey, I just want to let you know that I'm here for the vehicle. Okay, let me have him open the door. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Alright, let's see what we got going on. Done. Uh, I will, yeah. What's going on with it? Um, I have no idea, man. She got a, uh, a tune up by a street mechanic, and then the engine lights start coming on, and somebody told her it could be a, uh, a cylinder. Oh, well, I need to start with this. Pop the hood for me real quick. Actually, yeah, I got it right here. The lights start coming on. Um, blinking is puttering. Does it stay running at all? Oh, that's not that. Give it some gas. That sounds like a lifter issue. Uh, like something on the valve train up top. Let me get lined up and then I'll just drive it up. All right, buddy. That don't sound too pretty at all. Busy day over here. Coolant? Oh yeah, I smell that. Yeah. Thanks so much. All right, thanks a lot, man. Of course. Have, Have a good one. You too. This one's not even going two miles, so it'll be really quick. And then we have a 
2022 Silverado lined up for the next one. Being a GM, it could be a plethora of things wrong with it. I like doing these shorter toes a lot more than the longer ones. Some guys like doing the longer toes. I like local because you're always just moving and grooving. Picking one, dropping one, picking one, dropping one. Like yesterday and this morning, all I had was long distance. It was annoying, but good money, so I guess I can't complain. That was quick. Let's go see where they would like it. I guess rather let me make sure this is a good place to put it. We already got our strap down, so we just gotta take the chain. All that good? They took an ATV with a plow, stuck some tires on it so that way they could push cars in the shop. Still pretty gross out. Ugh. We are done with the Pacifica. And we are now on to the 2022 Silverado. All right, and we've got about a 15 minute drive there. Okay, it's been a few minutes. We're gonna go ahead and do a battery test. Let's see if it passes. Here's our neat new battery tester. We're gonna go ahead and try out. Should be fairly straightforward. Put that there. All right, fingers crossed. Yeah, so we're only getting 12%. So, battery is probably bad. Let me get the jump box. Okay, thank you. Of course. Oh, oh, that just okay. If you want, just start it for me real quick. You're all good with me, I'll take the key. I'll go ahead and pull the truck out and then okay. you're all good, okay? Thanks a lot, I appreciate it. Of course, have a good one. I coulda, woulda, shoulda been done. But instead I would rather freeze. <laughs> These new Silverados very commonly require new batteries and I'm not quite sure the reasoning behind it, but it's just very odd. Especially with only 8,000 miles. That is just crazy to me. I mean, it's nice. I'll give it that. Don't get me wrong. Check engine light on. I would never own one after the amount of them that I've towed. Parking brake on, the key, and the window up. Boom. This rain has not been kind to a guy today. I guess I do This one's only going one mile. 
And 30 seconds later, we arrive to the Chevy dealership. Let's go see where they would like this one. All right, let's get this Silverado down. And I think that might conclude today's episode because I've been working all day. And I am soaked. If it was snowing, I would have had no problems. She won't start, but if I can get ignition. <sighs> Those brake lights use up so much power that it just drains the battery. So now I must jump it for a third time. I hate these new stupid GMs. Nothing but problems, in my most humble opinion. All right, jump start number 3,742. Brake system failure, 43 mile an hour top speed. Now, do we think any mile an hour top speed is a good speed for a brake failure? Reducing features to save battery. Well, brother, you don't have much of a battery to save. All right. Goodbye, GM. Last but not least, if it works. Oh, <laughs> that's all you get. A horn, none of that. Let's pack this up and go give the keys to somebody from the dealer. Box back. Oh man. Okay. Hey, someone's gonna have to let me in. Thank you. How you doing? I'm dropping off. All right. Thank you, sir. Have a good night. Can't turn down a good photo opportunity. All right. I believe we're going to wrap it up there with this episode. If you guys did enjoy, you know what to do. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. All of that cool jazz. Until then, we will see you next time.